Hello gents, this is Brian. Dr. Shaw asked me to talk to you about prostate cancer screening. It seems like screening for prostate cancer is no big deal, but I am here to tell you that it is. Perhaps we ought to get more comfy first. Would this be okay? Ah, that is much better. Why don't we start with the positive aspects of prostate cancer screening? Screening may result in early detection of prostate cancer. Screening may result in prevention of death from prostate cancer, which is also called prostate cancer specific death. Screening may prevent or reduce the morbidity, or in other words, the sickness, that is caused by advanced prostate cancer. Well golly, that sounds pretty good. Sign me up. How did you get here? Who let you in? Never mind. Shall we continue? Before you just consent to the screening, perhaps I should discuss the negative aspects of prostate cancer screening. Please do. I am trying. Please let me. Go for it. There are some things about prostate cancer screening I would like you to know before we proceed with it. Prostate cancer screening can lead to potentially painful and even ultimately unnecessary diagnostic testing. It can lead to sickness and even death from the diagnostic testing itself, though this is quite rare. Indeed, it can lead to detection of what experts call clinically non-significant cancers. Now hold your hat there, partner. Aren't all cancers potentially lethal? All cancers are different. Some are more dangerous than others. This is true for prostate cancer. So prostate cancer is not dangerous. I did not say that. I said that not all forms of prostate cancer in all patients will lead to sickness and, or, death from prostate cancer. Prostate cancer screening can lead to the overtreatment of men with prostate cancer with treatments like surgery and radiation. Treatments such as these have some undesirable side effects, like impotence and incontinence, among others. Who there, James Bond? You mean that I can lose my manhood? The treatments for prostate cancer can be life-saving but are associated with these unpleasant side effects, so urologists recommend talking about them prior to even screening for the disease. Can I go on now? By all means, Austin Power, proceed. Waiting to screen until age 55 may reduce these negative aspects of screening without resulting in more prostate cancer deaths and sickness. So what should I do? You tell me what to do, Doc. I cannot tell you what to do. I can only have a discussion with you about the pros and cons of prostate cancer screening. Ultimately the decision is yours. Sounds like a load of garbage to me. Okay, Doc. I'll think about it. Thanks for your time. 